Steve came to me and said, uh, make sure you keep everything under an hour because the heat is playing tonight. <laughs> so I, think, well, I thought about it and I said, you know what? I'm reminded of Kim Kardashian when she said to um, her ex-husband and Chris Kardashian, um, don't worry, I'm not going to keep you long. <laughs> <laughs> Two wonderful children. Obviously, if they were here, you would recognize them immediately. <laughs> They're seven and three. Uh, my daughter, Morgan, I call her my mini me. You know, she's seven, and my son, Bryce, is three years old, and you know how three year olds would do. So he's not here. He's not babysitter. But honestly, this is um, oftentimes people come to me and say, How are you doing? And I can't believe it. I'm shocked, or, um, you know, we never thought this would happen. But you know what? When I look at tonight here, um, what I see, uh, I'm blessed honestly, because um, there are many people here who have spread the word and would honestly tell people who I am and what I, what I can do. And oftentimes I'm meeting people for the first time and it's really uh, melt my heart away. Because I'll tell you one thing, when I first found out I had an opponent, my daughter, um, she's seven, and she said, what's the campaign, daddy, you know? And we explained, well, we gotta raise money, we gotta do for daddy to keep his job. And she said, well, can I draw some paintings and sell them for like fifteen dollars? And, and she's a businesswoman because she told me. <laughs> she says, "Well, half for your campaign and half for my college fund." <laughs> and, and so you know, that really touched my heart when you see your kid and understand that. I don't want to see that dad lose the job. And I said, "No, you don't have to. Don't worry about it. My daddy have a lot of support and family and friends, and um, this is really a blessing here." Um, a little bit about me here. You know, for those who don't know, you know, I was raised in this community in Miami. Liberty City, you know, for those who sometimes hear about Liberty City, it's, it's a community, as you know, where a lot of severe poverty and um, violence, crimes, and drugs, and that's where I was raised at. Like, when I went to Law Day today, and Bertie Soto, our chief judge, talked about in Miami-Dade County how there are so many immigrants here um, in Miami-Dade County, and my family came to the Bahamas, just like Wookiee Ferguson, and seeking the American dream, like so many people have. And that picture that Mark has here, I guess I got it from the Daily Review, it was titled, Skinny Kid from Liberty City for his Dreams. And my baby would probably say, well, it used to be skinny kid from Liberty City. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was raised there. My mom, she didn't finish high school. They never had a driver license at all. And I never saw my biological father. But she made sure that education was paramount. And that was no excuse for me to use it. You know, so we went through the rise and all those different things. But uh, one thing I think that kept me grounded was really my faith and also my humility. Because I believe that if you're humble, you know what? your life will take you anywhere. And I, learned, I got that from really one mentor when I was at the city of Miami Beach as a senior assistant city attorney. I appeared before uh, Judge Mario Goddard. And you know, I had to present him one time with an award at the what, Third Good Marshall Award. And he's, and he's known as saying that um, you don't have to be loud to be heard, but you do need to be humble to be respected. And I always model myself to do that. That's why when I see that, you know what, I, I don't have to know every single body here because there are over two and a half million people in Miami-Dade County. And when I got on the bench, um, first of all, I went to Florida Indian University, I earned five scholarships. They would say, my mom didn't have like a dollar to see me in school. But I studied hard, earned five scholarship, and I went to uh, Michigan State. I got two scholarships there um, when I graduated. I came back home because I love public service. I became a prosecutor. And how I became a prosecutor, anyone who was a former state attorney here, um, the chief assistant, Don Horn, uh, I met him on the Camp Marie as a Boy Scout because I became the first Eagle Scout in my troop. Now I'm a scout leader. Now, for the past 20 years, despite my just for appearance, I've been around go camping every week, you know, just about to go to summer camp. And he showed me this gold badge. And I thought, wow, I thought that was the coolest thing to have. And so when I went to law school, graduated, called Don, and the rest is history, so I became a prosecutor. Because I thought about, in my community, so many people lost their lives, like my friends or relatives were about a murder, a shot. And I think you should be able to walk anywhere. Like you can go to South Beach and have fun. It should be anywhere, a piece of harmony. And so I took a stand, you know, being a prosecutor, we need to protect victims' rights there. And no one should be afraid to go anywhere in the community. So that was one of something dear and dear to my heart. Um, but being a judge, I knew that's something I wanted to do. You can't, um, judges, uh, try not just civil cases or criminals. So I um, expanded my background to do civil, where I did medical malpractice defense work for Miles McGrain's office. Um, I was in the House Council for Liberty Mutual, and also I was a senior assistant city attorney for Miami Beach. 
And far as the community wise, I was the president elect of the Wookiee Ferguson Bar. I would have been the president, but uh, Governor Pierce stole that from me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> a month before I was to be sworn in, you know, he put, you know he elevated me to the circuit court. So there's no such thing, I guess, as past president elect. So this <laughs> book. No one unless you know. Uh, where's Yolanda? You got to break that down. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have happened. So with Michelle Simmer we took the, uh, the position. That would have been my year to be. President, you know, the president they worked the hardest, right? You plan and gallery, you know, all of a sudden, look, I hand a platter to Michelle, thank you. <laughs> but also, too, um, I'm involved with 5,000 Role Model, where we mentor many kids. Um, and first, my other, I was appointed, yeah, I served four years as a county court judge. I started off in the South Dade Justice Center, and I remember telling Judge Farina at the time, look, I live in a I live in my lakes area, and I have an SUV, and that's no, it's not a hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> but he said, oh, I used to drive there before, but guess like a dime when you were a judge back then. You know, just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed there, but I realized I wanted to really reach out to the whole community as a judge. So what I did was I put in Chris to, um, to have assignments all over. So after I served my year or two in South Dade, I went to High Live Courthouse, and I went to, uh, um, North Day Justice Center, and like LeBron James, I took my tailor to South Beach. <laughs> uh, so, and after that, I'm, now I'm at the Gerstein Building. Governor Scott has since elevated me to the circuit court. I truly love my job. I love being with you there. A number of you guys have appeared before me. And like I said, of course, my goal is to continue to give you guys a fair and partial hearing and, and be compassionate. I don't have a stake in the outcomes like an umpire. And I, I do what I'm supposed to do so that you can have an enjoyable experience. My door is always open. Um, I'm a friendly person, as you know, I love the Miami Heat. Um, I tell that to all the jurors. <laughs> they, they did get around about that too, as well. Uh, and also, another thing that I, I do serve, well, I want to let you know, in mediations, right? When you guys are mediating, you're playing your cases. And your mediation is a position of trust, just like being a judge. And I was appointed by the um, Supreme Court Justice Peggy Quince at the time to serve on the Mediated Fortification Board. There are only three judges in the Southern Division that covers that. That comes from the 11, uh, 15, 16, 17, 19, and 20 years of the circuit. And I got reappointed by uh, the other ch uh, Chief Justice at the time, Charles Kennedy. And now uh, my current Chief Justice, um, Ricky Poston, um, put me on the Supreme Court Committee for the Attorney Dispute Resolution Policy Committee. And we've been coordinating to, um, to make decisions with Supreme Court recommendations. So when you look at people who have the highest respect for me, that I've done in the service, I really appreciate you guys' support, because I can't do it without you. You know, and one last thing in closing, um, this fundraiser here, this is my first kickoff fundraiser since I do our position. And to me, to see these people here, see you guys, I mean, I don't literally like crying inside, I don't want to sweat outside. <laughs> but it really means a lot. I love you guys, and I hope that I continue to have your support. And you gotta tell people to vote. Um, yes. Why? Because in the November election, you know, um, statistics shows that only 20% of the people vote. And, and they might choose a governor, and oh, I'm done, or a representative, I'm done, but you gotta tell them who the judges are. And if you don't do that, you know, they won't know. So we don't have the pigeon, we got time to know anymore. You got Facebook, you know, Twitter. So please, if you know any day, county voter, I think I'm at, um, where's I'm on? I'm at him tonight. Uh, he's, he doesn't live here. But I said, you know somebody by me Dade County here? Absolutely, so he, so he can tell his friends and pass the word, so that's the whole point. Please, by all means, let her know that to keep me on the bench so I can continue serving you with respect and integrity and giving you fair and partial decision. With that said, I love you guys and God bless you.